Welcome to our lecture online. Our next proof comes with using three segments, AB, BC, and CD, and we're given that line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC, and line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD. And we're supposed to prove that the length of segment AB is equal to the length of segment CD. So it's always a good place to start when we write down what is given. So we're going to write down that the line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC, and line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD, because that's where we want to start with what they gave us. But now, how do we get to our proof? Well, first of all, if we take a look, what we're saying here is that this line segment is congruent to this line segment, and then we're saying that this line segment is congruent to this line segment. So it looks like we might be able to substitute something. And notice if AB is congruent to BC and BC is congruent to CD, that maybe we can make this replacement. Here, notice that we can say that BC is congruent to line segment CD and BC is congruent to line segment AB. We can make that replacement. We can now simply say, Instead of writing line segment BC, we're going to write line segment AB since they are congruent. And so now we end up with line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. And what we've done is we've made a substitution. And why can we make that substitution? Because we have what we call the substitution property of equality. Now instead of comparing line segments being congruent to one another, we want to be able to show that the length of each line segment is equal to the other. In other words, what we can now say is that AB is equal to CD. Instead of writing as a line segment, we say that the length of the line segment AB is equal to the length of line segment CD. And so what we're doing here is using the theorem we're now equating lengths rather than congruency, and we can do that by saying that the theorem of congruent line segments specifically states that if two line segments are congruent to one another, then their measures are equal to one another. That is by the theorem. Congruent line segments means that their, line me that their length, their measures, must be the same as well. So instead of writing the line segment of AB is congruent to line segment CD, we can write that the length of AB is equal to the length of CD, which, by the way, is exactly what we're trying to prove. And the reason why we can make the leap going from here to there is because the theorem of congruent line, line segments tells us that if they are congruent, then their lengths are equal to one another and therefore, we've been able to prove that AB equals CD, and that's how it's done.